What's up guys, welcome back to another MCOC Alliance War, and we are in Tier 3 for the first time, um, since they introduced the, the, um, what is it, the 6 star shards, so, uh, but yeah, it's been quite a while since we've been on the expert map, if you're in Tier 4, it's the, I guess, hard, or, so I can't remember what the, what it's labeled as, but Tiers 1, 2, and 3 are expert map, and, uh, yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect. I couldn't remember how strong and how much health the um, opponents have, but I do have a five-star blade. I have a different team since the last time we were in an expert, so you know it's it's not as bad. Uh, like I said, I have the five-star rank five blade. On top of that, I have Stark Spidey, who does a lot of damage. Uh, but yeah, so I bring bring in the um, uh, blade with the Stark and Head, Spidey, and the Ghost Rider Synergy. And I don't want to use Blade for all the fights, so I do do a few fights with, uh, well, one fight with Ghost Rider and then uh, a couple with Stark Spidey. And yeah, this, this fight, you know, it started off well. Um, I look at the profile, so, well, for one, it's a six star, so I knew there's only four options that it was going to be. And then I looked at the profile and saw that uh, Black Bolt was in the profile, so, you know, I knew exactly who it was going to be and I was I was so paranoid that I was going to get hit by the first special because uh, sometimes when I fight fight Black Bolt uh, I don't dash back in time uh, to evade that that beam that he does so yeah it was just one thing I didn't want to get hit by because there is a chance to get stunned by it and so yeah you get stunned by it and comboed yeah it's you know probably going to be game over I think there's a possibility of getting um, armor break on that as well but you know, I have to check just to verify so yeah right there I just missed time to comp or the uh, parry so I was about to parry do a heavy attack and then uh, fire off the L3 but now I'm going to parry heavy attack and then build my health back up just in case I do need Ghost Rider uh, but it turns out I, I didn't uh, use Ghost Rider again, so I could have just fired off this third special to finish the fight off a little bit faster But yeah, it wouldn't have made much of a difference because that L L3 doesn't do a lot of damage uh, it does Do some additional damage afterwards with the damnation, but yeah as soon as the regen wore off fired off the third special uh, Didn't finish him off did uh, only 9% damage and that was an assassin range so uh Attacked into his, his block, and with the damnation going as well, was able to finish him off there. So up next, we got the All or Nothing node, and it's a little bit different than um, than the previous maps that we've been doing because the the main thing is he has additional 150 percent health, and he also has it went from nine or 66 percent armor to 90 percent armor so i'm a bit worried about bringing in dormammu for this fight you know so like if i see a cosmic here and i'm expecting uh hyperion you know a bit worried about it being uh, about bringing dormammu just because i don't know if i'm going to be able to finish the fight in, in under three minutes uh, but yeah, so building up poise charges. As soon as I get to 10, I'm ready to attack. Yeah, I get caught by the the uh, unblockable charge. So uh, upset about that because that that was the only damage that I took from it. And it dropped me under 50%. So don't get that additional crit rating. I believe it is is for that. But you know, other than that, yeah. You saw I did that heavy attack early. Uh, yeah, I just. For whatever reason, I went into a little bit of panic mode and, and decided to drop the, the heavy attack instead of holding on to it. But, you know, I didn't need it later on, so it was, it was fine. So up next, if I didn't get hit by that combo, then I could have just went in here without healing up. But, you know, I'm, I'm expecting it to be Quake. And I looked at the profile just to see if she's in there, but she wasn't. And, uh, yeah, so I do use a level 4 health potion to... Uh, bring Spidey up and I probably wouldn't have needed it. I probably didn't need it. I uh, could have made it without it but I didn't want to give up any deaths so you know just better safe than sorry. 
and yeah, building up voice charges here so I did a combo earlier and normally I do four hits and then back off but yeah I don't know why I did the fifth hit and I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that I have an aftershock charge on me I was just firing off this special one just so I can get another combo in so yeah when I watched this video back I saw that right as the charge was wearing off which is a 10% chance to be stunned I fired off the L1 so yeah that, that would have sucked if I didn't do that L1 if I would have just saved my my power to get to L2 and I did get stunned yeah I would have been upset about that like I said I did not realize that a charge on me so up next we got um, uh, one of my least favorite nodes on here, Kinetic Reactor, Plague Mine, Burden of Might, so, you know, it's kind of hard to gain power sometimes. And it's my old foe here, Dormammu, who gives me so much trouble as a boss. You see, I got clipped by the second part of that heavy attack. It's because I was, after dashing back, I decided, like, kind of late to try to attack between his, um, his ch double hit, and, yeah... If, if you dash back and, and fire off a, a light special, or not light special, a light attack right away, you're able to intercept the uh, second part and attack. But, you know, it's probably just better to evade the whole thing and then come in. But, uh, yeah, finish was able to finish him off fairly easily after that. Uh, up next, we have the Bleed Node Breakthrough. And now he's stun immune, so in tier 4 he's he has limber, but in tier 3 and up he has uh, he's stun immune. And I was expecting this to be Spider-Man uh, when I looked, scouted my path ahead, but you know, uh, I have seen a couple other uh, science on here, so I wasn't 100% sure, but you know, I, it being stun immune, I was expecting Spider-Man than it was. So I'm healing up as much as I can, holding block as often as I can, just so that I can uh, counter that bleed that's going on, and then any chip damage from uh, Spidey block or attacking into my block. And one thing you may notice is that I never reach one bar of power, just because um, every few hits I'm holding block. Uh, like I said just a regen and the fact that I can't do a full combo in fear of an evade actually I, I think you know it kind of feels like every time I hit three maybe four hits anyways he he didn't evade oh, except no I guess not right there but the, you saw the the next hit after that was an evade so yeah I can't do five hits against spider-man um, I think when I did the math at the end uh, after when I went back and watched this, I think he evaded at like 29.78% like or something like that. So basically 30% on his evades, uh, which I'm not sure what signature level he is. You know, that's one of the things that sucks about not being able to see him is you can't uh, check their uh, sig, uh, sig level and all that. Um, but yeah, uh, I was able to make make it through it with a decent amount of health. So come in, face this jug. I forgot to, to check the node, but the only thing different is um, in this tier is that this boss, uh, or mini boss I should say, has limber. Um, when you're in tier four, he doesn't. So that was the only thing I had to watch out for. Uh, but you see, Blade is doing a pretty good job at at uh, stopping the unstoppables from happening so you know that I was that, I guess that helped out a bit but it's not like I was rushing in after immediately afterwards to attack him anyways just because I don't know if he's gonna stop that that uh, unstoppable or not and also I'm trying to heal up as much as possible and I'm about to get clipped here he's gonna catch me me trying to heal up um, so uh, coming up here pretty soon right there see I was trying to heal up. I thought I was back far enough, but yeah, he just unloaded that heavy attack real quick and clipped me. So didn't do too much damage. So it, you know, it wasn't wasn't that devastating, and I was still able to heal up a bit after that. And uh, yeah, I'm about to finish this fight off. Only 14% health left, and I'm in assassin range. So yeah, I think one more combo, and this fight's over. 
So I didn't tell anybody the boss was open because I wanted to face the, the boss myself. Uh, it being a magic, not a Dormammu. If it was Dormammu, I'd probably said, hey, you know, Dormammu's open or something like that. Uh, just because there's somebody else who brings in uh, Gladiator Hulk. And I think that's a much better matchup using Gladiator Hulk instead of Blade. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna have my Gladiator Hulk at rank 4 and then probably bring him into uh, into war whenever there's a Dormammu as a boss but uh, yeah we'll see what happens in the future I, I still need one more uh, tier 1 alpha or tier 2 alpha I mean so it's, it's gonna be a little while so yeah I got the parry there and I'm so used to parrying and then holding block right afterwards and I wasn't expecting her to throw a heavy like that so yeah she caught me trying to regen as well um, but yeah other than that no no mistakes in this fight I actually did fairly decent uh, trying to bait out these specials not triggering uh, dexterity as, as much as I normally do uh, but yeah she's backing off so I'm just gonna stand there and regen I'm now that I'm back up to 71%, go ahead and bait out this special and uh, go back on the attack. Um, yeah, it was uh, this this fight went a lot better than the last time I faced Magic. The the last time, um, I think a couple of times I just forgot that she was stun immune and. After parrying, I, I got I went in for a combo. I can't remember if that was her, if that was Dormammu. It might have been Dormammu. I can't remember, but um, I do know that I did get intercepted uh, a couple of times, and she was uh, very passive. You know, she wasn't aggressive, and it's hard fighting a boss. You know, especially when they have Mystic Dispersion after being real passive and holding on to those specials, uh, making it really hard to to bait them out. But uh, yeah, it was like I said, it wasn't too bad. Uh, baiting out those specials. Each time I drop this L2, you know, that's like 12-13% damage right there. 12-13% of their health, so uh, I only managed to drop two of those. Uh, fight probably would have went faster if I would have dropped uh, a couple more, but I was spending a lot of my, my uh, power just regenerating, so uh, but yeah, I was able to take her down in one go. Didn't do, didn't get killed at all in this fight, or and it's fighting this war, so that was good. Um, we ended up beating them. We took down all the three of their bosses. They didn't take down any of ours, so we got them an attack rating as well. And diversity, big time. They were not diverse at all, which I was surprised because, you know, when I was doing my path, it looked like they were going to be very diverse. But yeah, talking to some of the other alliance mates, they said that it wasn't. They knew that it wasn't. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.